Hello everyone and welcome to OnHow channel, the place where every day you learn something new. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any tutorial requests, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to do a video for you. Otherwise, let's get to our tutorial today, which is how you can find out the team of any Shopify store. So for example, if you saw a Shopify store and you did like the design of it and you want to make a similar store to it. Well, if that store uses a team that's available on the market, you can actually make a similar Shopify store to it. And I will show you how you can find out the team of the Shopify store without using any tools or anything. And there is actually a lot of websites that can help you do that and also a chrome extensions on google chrome browser they can help you to find out the team of a shopify store but as you know i always support the independent way without having to be dependent on any website or tools because what if the website suddenly stop working or the extension start asking for money suddenly you don't have a way to do that you can only pay the extension if it start asking for money or something so the best choice is to always do that without depending on any tools or anything and they will show you how you can find that the team of the shopify store just from the code of the website and without any more talking let's get to it just like i did in my previous video i will use google search queries to find out shopify stores on google search engine and we will do demonstration on it so let's just do that let's just type in in search engine in text two dots and two quotation marks and between the two quotation marks i will type in powered by shopify and keep in mind that i will do this just to find a random shopify store to do demonstration on and after that i will add another query which is in text two dots and two quotation marks again and between them i will type in a keyword and actually i will use the same one as my previous video which is women's bag and hit enter and as you can see all the search results here are shopify stores so let's just go for the second one here to do demonstration on it so as you can see this is the shopify store that's selling bags to make sure it's working actually on shopify let's just scroll down the bottom page and as you can see here it is powered by shopify so right now we know that the shop is using shopify and the next step to figure out the name of the team that's using on this website and to do that simply right click on the page and after that click on view page source option right here and it will open up this tab right here with a bunch of code on it and i know it looks complicated no worries when we'll not look at the code or anything simply hit ctrl f if you are on windows i'm on mac so i'm going to click on command f and you should see this prompt at the top right corner of the browser and after that simply type in shopify.team just like you see on the screen right now and as you can see it did highlight some links here and if it didn't just hit enter and it will take you to the highlighted links as you can see it did highlight some names here and here is the shopify team and the first one if you notice it says here shopify team equals name two dots supply and basically this supply word is the name for the shopify team and let's just check that out right now so i'm going to right click on it and copy and open up a new tab which is google search engine of course i'm going to paste in supply shopify team and here it is as you can see this is the shopify team that has been used in the shopify store just like you see right now so let's just check out the demo and let's just check out if it's similar as you can see it's really similar layout with the same search bar here and the, the cart on the right as you can see so this is the shopify team that has been used in this shopify store and by the way if you see a, a known name here and you did search for that name and nothing come up that means they're using a custom made team so they did not use any public available team they did develop their own team but that wouldn't be the case because it's really expensive to to hire a developer to make your own team so that's how you figure out the name of the shopify team that has been used in a shopify store and if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments otherwise i think my job it is done and thanks for watching and catch you on next one